Hey guys, it's Lindsay from A Touch of LA, and today I'm gonna to walk you through how to edit an editable PDF invitation that you either got on Etsy or my website. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and save the file to your desktop or somewhere on your computer, and then you're gonna to wanna to right click on this. So what you're gonna be edited, editing it in is Adobe Reader. And if you have a Mac and you're trying to open it in preview, that's not going to work. You're going to need to download Adobe Reader if you don't already have it. And there's a link to that on my Etsy shop as well as my website. So we're going to go ahead and open that here. There it is. So what we're going to do first is just go ahead and click into each of these boxes to make edits. So the first one is the person's name. So we're going to just say Andrews. And then here we're going to put the age that he's turning, his seventh birthday. Here we're gonna wanna put the date, time, and location of the party. So let's go ahead and do December 17th. It helps if you spell it right, but luckily we have <laughs> spell check, December 17th at two o'clock p.m. Let's say it's gonna be at Starscate. And we want it to be at 555 Generation Road. That's in Santa Rosa. Okay, so the first thing we notice here is that this is kind of running over. So what you'll want to do is on your keyboard hit Control E. And that's going to bring up all of these options. You can actually change the font and the size and do other things with spacing here. Um, so what we want to do here is just make this a little bit smaller. So let's go ahead and change it to 18, hit enter, and there you go. And you can go ahead and adjust this if you want. I'll show you some spacing that you can do down here. Um, so now let's add the RSVP. So we'll say to Lindsay at 555, 555, 555 or lindsay at gmail.com by December 17th, which I realize is the same day, but you get the idea. Maybe you wanna make this a little bit smaller because it's running a little bit over, so we'll make it 12. Maybe you wanna add a, a line here that says, you know, don't forget to bring your skates. You can make that bigger or smaller. You can also adjust the spacing as I mentioned. So maybe you wanna make that a little bit closer to this. Go ahead and hit more. And in this case, you'll click on the paragraph area. Go to exactly and make it, I guess a little bit smaller, maybe like 12. Let's see what that looks like. Let's try 10. Sometimes you can change the spacing in different areas. So see how I've highlighted this area? You can make that even smaller um, and just see what works for you. The only other thing I'm gonna recommend is around printing. So you may be printing this at like a Kinko's or a FedEx and that's totally fine or a Vistaprint. I always recommend Vistaprint because they're super quick and they have great coupons online. But if you're printing it yourself, you can go ahead and hit print. And what you're gonna see is that it's just an eight and a half by 11, but you want to do choose paper source by PDF. That's if you are printing on a five by seven piece of paper. Unless you're doubling it and doing two to a page, you're gonna to wanna to do that. And you also wanna make sure to click advanced and make sure this is checked, print as image. Otherwise, it's probably just gonna print blank like this and that's not gonna look good. <laughs> so um, I hope that's helpful. And if you guys need any suggestions on the paper I recommend, I do have paper suggestions right here on my website if you go to the suggested products. And it prints really beautifully, especially with colors like these. Black is a really hard color to print on regular cardstock, so I have a really great paper that I recommend for printing invitations, so go ahead and check that out. Thanks, guys. I hope you have a great day.